and I've been looking forward to this, just to talk about the enigma. And he is an enigma, the enigma that is Sir Eric, I'm going to call him Sir, Sir Eric Cantona. Um, you know, you heard that last bit of commentary there. Um, a bit OTT, wasn't it, to be honest? Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Yeah. But um, what was it like just being on the pitch as that happened? Like, what, what was going through your mind when you saw this all unfold? For, for me personally... Take I, us I, there. Take us there. I, I hadn't long joined from Newcastle. Mm. You know, so I, I'm only a few games into my Manchester United career then. Uh, and, and when it did happen... I wasn't even sure what was going on. I'm, I'm being brutally honest. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't no, no. sure what was going on. I, I was, was you near? Was you near him? I'm trying to sort of picture it in terms of where you were in reference yeah, to Eric Cantona. Was yeah, you kind of, I was kind of like still in the in, in the circle area. Yeah, in the middle of the pitch. Mm. But um, like I said, I, I wasn't sure if the punter ran on and started on Eric or yeah. Eric did what he did. And when it all unfolded and everyone started running over to the touchline, I was like, I was kind of like miffed mm. to what had gone on. And I didn't actually see the incident properly until I see it on TV. Yeah. And that's when I said to myself, Wow. Yeah. Well, you did, probably didn't say those words. Probably yeah. said something a bit stronger. E exactly. Yeah. But it, it was it was, it was, was surreal. Mm. It was surreal. What was he like? What? Okay, two questions. I've got so many questions in my head. Apologies. What was he like in the change room after? Like, was he steaming? Was he one of those people that you could go to or like, leave him alone? It's, I, I'm not going to lie you. Eric, Eric is possibly one of the calmest people I've ever been in the dressing room with. I mean, he, he didn't really say a lot. You know, Eric had an unbelievable presence. Yeah. You know, didn't have to say too much. Giant of a man as yeah. well. I think people but, forget that. What was he, 6'3"? Six, 6'2"? Three? Six, yeah, six, yeah. Three? Big yeah. barrel chest and, you know, <laughs> I mean, broad shoulders and, you know, and you, Eric, Eric didn't really say anything. He sat down in the dressing room and that was it. Mm. And that was it. And naturally, you, you, I don't know what's going through his mind. Only Eric will ever know what, what, what was going through his mind. You know, but I remember when we all come in the dressing room after the game and everyone's naturally shocked and whatever. And I think some of the boys are saying, the gaffer's got to lose it now. That yeah. was the next question. Because you, know? you know, Sir Alex, is obviously look, we know the stories about him losing it and just yeah. literally that, that switch flipping. Did it flip? Yeah. Did he lose it on Eric or not? No. No? It, that, that's, <laughs> this, this for me and to this day, I, I still laugh to myself. Yeah, I, I remember the gaffer coming... And the gaff was absolutely fuming. The game in that 1 1, he was fuming. Mm. You know, we dropped a point, two points, and he's fuming that we didn't win the game. And he come in and started having a Barney at a few people. <laughs> and then he said to Eric, Eric, what are you thinking? That's it. Eric, you, you can't go around doing things like that. <laughs> I mean, everyone in the, dress, <laughs> the dressing room sat there and said, nah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Holding, you know what happens, right? When nah. you're walking, into the, you know, you've got a bad result, like one or you. All your players are thinking, oh, he ain't going to go for me. Eric's going to get it. We've yeah. had, he's done us a favour. Do you know what I mean? That yeah. He's going to get the rollicking. And then for Fergie to go, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, Eric. But the thing about it, with, with the gaffer, yeah, you knew straight away yeah, if, he's, if he's in a bad mood. Mm. If he goes in half time, yeah, and he gets down the tunnel really quick. So he gets out of his seat, walks down the tunnel really, really, really fast. fast. Yeah, you know, oh, here we go. Someone's getting it. Yeah? So you knew that? Yeah, like, you, 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 you always time, know. You guys are walking yeah, off yeah? slow. He's running down. You know someone's you in know, trouble. All, I've always, everyone always knows, yeah, when the gaffer's going to lose it. <laughs> and yeah, you normally know who it's going to be. Yeah. So, yeah you know it's going to yeah. be. But sometimes, yeah, the gaffer be like, he, he used to be like this. He'll get in the dressing room mm. and, for instance, someone gave away a pass a couple of minutes into the first 45 minutes or to the end of the game. He'll come in and absolutely unleash mm. on whoever it was. Yeah? Mm. And then, Whoever he's actually intended to go for, think, oh, I'm off the hook. Thank man. God. I'm off the hook. And then all of a sudden, he will volley you. And you? Yeah, <laughs> from nowhere. And then you'll get in your turn and say to yourself, oh, Wait Gaffer, but that was such and such. Yeah. I don't care, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And you turn around and say, he never forgot anything. And I mean, he never, ever forgot anything. He'll get there to, in the end. But it might take a little bit of time before you got there. Did Eric, because I've, me growing up as a kid, I always looked at Eric as the, the coolest footman in the world, right? He used to roll up, roll up his sleeves, even the, the collar, the collars, he used to put yeah. the collar up. And I used to think, oh my God, Eric's so cool. Did you ever know that that was in him though, that trigger to just lose it like that was there? I, I think as, as the saying always says, you know, the quiet ones. Yeah, that's what they say, don't they? You know, and Eric was definitely one of them. I think for, for me personally, and a lot of the boys who come through, no, just to watch him, mm. just to watch the way he trained, the way he played. We always used to take something from him. But to see something like that, you know, he was the first 
professional footballer to actually lose it with a punter. Yeah. yeah, and so you know, let's just have a tear up. And to be fair, we don't like. I was talking to Perry Groves about this off air. I think Eric Dyer is probably the only other one that I can remember yeah. going. In, I can't think of anything else. 